From treasures from outer space to a possible lost civilization, here are the 10 most incredible things found in Antarctica. Number 10. Underground Lakes While it may be difficult to imagine there being anything hidden beneath the layers of ice in Antarctica, there are actually many underground lakes. The first were uncovered in 1970 using radar. There are an estimated 400 lakes sitting quietly beneath 3 kilometers of solid ice. Scientists believe the lakes were formed when Antarctica separated from the ancient supercontinent known as Gondwana Land. Now, you may be wondering how a lake could exist beneath ice without freezing. But the lakes actually don't freeze because of the pressure and the weight of the ice sheet sitting above them. The largest subglacial lake in Antarctica is Lake Vostok, which was discovered by Russian scientists in the 1990s. It is also the third biggest lake in the world by its volume, but good luck going swimming there. After drilling holes deep in the ice to extract samples, scientists discovered that the water is roughly minus 3 degrees Celsius which kind of boggles the mind considering all water should freeze once it hits zero degrees. In any case, these lakes actually contain ecosystems of their own, with microorganisms living beneath the ice that have never seen air or sunlight, using only methane and ammonium to grow and thrive. Number 9. Blood Falls Blood Falls is probably the most notorious discovery in Antarctica. This waterfall looks like thick and viscous blood flowing down ice walls. It's located in the McMurdo Dry Valley, and the waterfall is five stories tall and bleeding bright crimson. The blood-like substance flows out of the Taylor Glacier and into Lake Bonnie. It looks as if the ice has sustained a horrible wound, or as if something awful happened somewhere up on the glacier and its runoff is pouring into the lake. However, this is actually more of a natural phenomenon than anything overly mysterious. The water coming down the blood falls used to be a very salty lake preserved 400 meters beneath the ground. The water is roughly three times saltier than seawater, and for that reason it cannot freeze. The water is also very rich in iron, and it has no oxygen or sunlight. So, as this bizarre water seeps from underground through a fissure in the glacier and touches the air for the first time, the iron literally oxidizes and rusts, which makes the water appear the bloody red color it is. But it's not blood. It's just rusty water. If you were hoping to get a look at Blood Falls, you'll need to book a helicopter ride or a cruise ship that will be visiting the Ross Sea. This is definitely not your everyday expedition. Would you like to see Antarctica? I would. Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Number 8. Lots of Strange Animals Antarctica is definitely a pretty barren landscape. It's more of an icy desert than a continent, getting very little rain every year unending storms of fierce wind, and the very coldest temperatures on Earth. In fact, the coldest temperature ever recorded was minus 89.4 degrees Celsius in Antarctica. But despite this horrible and unforgiving landscape, there is actually an abundance of unique wildlife. Scientists used to think that there was nothing that could survive beneath the ice of Antarctica. But since then, scientists have discovered many unusual creatures that have adapted surprisingly well to the harsh conditions. Just for starters, there are microbes, colossal squid, spiders the size of dinner plates, crustaceans, and even giant worms with jaws full of sharp teeth. According to popular mechanics, you can even find translucent ice fish living in Antarctica. Creatures with massive eyes and internal organs that can be seen easily through their translucent skin, as if they were alien monsters. These fish actually have antifreeze glycoproteins that make it impossible for them to survive in warm waters. They have no hemoglobin to make their blood red, and so they look very peculiar. But the point is that Antarctica is actually full of life, no matter how cold and inhospitable the landscape may appear. Number 7. Ancient Fossils It's important to remember that Antarctica has been around for millions of years, and it was not always a frozen desert. Before the Ice Age layered the entire Earth in frozen hunks of ice, Antarctica was actually part of a very warm region where rainforests grew, and possibly even ancient civilizations of intelligent, human-like creatures thrive. This theory came about after the discovery of fossilized wood in Antarctica. Scientists found the fossils of tropical trees, leaf impressions, marine animals, birds, and even dinosaurs. And all of this points to the fact that before Antarctica was covered in ice, it was a tropical jungle. But aside from the bigger fossils of dinosaurs and birds, Scientists also discovered interesting fossilized evidence of insect species that lived roughly 20 million years ago in warmer climates. 
They also found small, single-celled fossils and evidence of a particularly old worm that lived 50 million years ago. Scientists are really hoping all this newly discovered biological evidence will lead to new information about how life evolved on the planet. Antarctica really is an untapped resource full of fossils and incredible information. Number 6. Singing Ice Deep in Antarctica is a massive slab of singing ice roughly the size of France. I'm talking about the Ross Ice Shelf which happens to be the biggest ice shelf in all of Antarctica. It covers a massive area of over 500,000 square kilometers, and scientists have recently uncovered that the ice shelf sings a very creepy melody. According to an article by The Verge, the song of the ice sheet is caused by winds blowing non-stop across the snow dunes, and these winds create a vibration across the surface that sounds like an eerie song. Interestingly enough, the song was not even discovered on purpose. Because the vibrations are not audible to human ears, Scientists had to use seismic sensors just to hear the creepy tune. After some seismic sensors were installed on the ice shelf to observe different behaviors, scientists picked up the song and told the world about it. Since its initial discovery, scientists have found that the song actually changes depending on the environment. For example, the song will change slightly if storms are shifting the snow or if there's a lot of melting going on. Scientists are now using the singing ice as a tool to track the ice shelf in real time, seeing how stable and vulnerable it is just by listening to the seismic humming. Number 5. Mount Erebus It might not be obvious just by looking at the white wasteland of Antarctica, but there are actually several volcanoes all across the continent. Specifically, there are four volcanoes on Ross Island, with the biggest being Mount Erebus. Mount Erebus has been active for roughly 1.3 million years, with a liquid lava lake viewable from the opening of the volcano. That lava has been boiling for over 1 million years. And in just the last 30 years, Mount Erebus has become slightly more active than usual, suggesting there could be an eruption in the future. On the last expedition to Mount Erebus in 2013, scientists hiked all the way to the peak, where they discovered organisms thriving in the heat of the volcano. The scientists also discovered ice caves filled with microorganisms thriving in the soil. They believe the extreme creatures found near Mount Erebus are some of the most unique on the entire planet. On a grislier note, you may remember Mount Erebus as the famous site of the 1979 Air New Zealand disaster, when a sightseeing flight got lost in a storm and crashed into the side of the volcano. All 237 passengers and 20 crew were killed. Number 4. The Giant Hole In 2017, a hole roughly the size of Ireland opened unexpectedly in Antarctica. This phenomenon is known as a polynya, and the one from 2017 is the largest hole ever to be observed in over 40 years. It was found in the Weddell Sea of the Southern Ocean and was formed because of warmer and saltier water coming in from deeper parts of the ocean. The warm water gets pushed by the currents, which melts the surface ice. Then, as the water comes in contact with the colder surface water and is reheated and pushed back to the surface, a massive hole is formed. But these holes are not actually bad things. They occur quite frequently and make excellent doors for wildlife to move between the ocean and the top of the ice. The holes provide a habitat for phytoplankton, and they make excellent pathways for seals and penguins. They sure do look bizarre, though especially with satellite images that show the Antarctic holes like big bite marks taken out of the ice. Number 3. The Fifth Ocean You're probably familiar with the two main oceans, the Pacific and the Atlantic, and you may vaguely know about the other major oceans, the Indian Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. But did you know that in the year 2000, the fifth ocean of the world was added to the list? It is the fourth largest and surrounds the full continent Antarctica. But it doesn't have a cool name, only being known as the Southern Ocean. This ocean plays a crucial part in how our world works. Scientists recently found that the Southern Ocean around Antarctica has managed to absorb 15% of the carbon emissions we humans have created. This ocean is like a sponge sucking a huge portion of our emissions into it, so they don't harm the atmosphere. Scientists are actually scurrying as we speak to figure out how this process works, because it won't last forever. And once the Southern Ocean stops absorbing carbon emissions, it's going to be an even bigger burden on our atmosphere. Typically, the only way to get to the Southern Ocean is by taking a cruise to Antarctica. You'll witness penguins, interesting birds, and the incredible power of the sea. Number 2. 
ancient meteorites. You may be surprised to learn that NASA does not only operate in space, they've actually been hanging out in Antarctica lately looking for meteorites. While meteorites do fall periodically all over the world, they're way easier to find in Antarctica. Meteorites hit glaciers and get buried in the ice, then accumulate over thousands and thousands of years. As the glaciers flow very slowly, meteorites are carried in the ice. When a glacier hits an obstacle, such as a mountain, the ice will rise and the meteorite is pushed to the surface, where NASA scientists are able to pick up a meteorite and study it. According to NASA, if you give the ice fields enough time, they eventually push up mass amounts of meteorites into a single place. One recent team were able to collect over 250 meteorites in the Trans-Antarctic range. In fact, these same expeditions have recovered around 22,000 meteorites since the 1970s and it costs significantly less money than trying to collect them from space. Scientists are excited at what kind of space mysteries will be solved by collecting so many amazing samples. Number 1. Lost Civilization While not yet discovered, many people believe there is proof of a lost civilization hidden somewhere beneath the ice of Antarctica. This has been a theory for a long time, going as far back as H.P. Lovecraft's epic book The Mountains of Madness in which a terrible alien civilization was uncovered beneath the ice. While an alien civilization is a little far-fetched, there are many people who believe a human civilization was possible. There is some evidence to support the possibility of a human-type civilization thriving in Antarctica over 55 million years ago, back before Antarctica was covered in ice. It's possible that humanoid beings had lived in that part of the world, but were either extinct during the Ice Age or forced to move to more fertile ground. Which of these incredible discoveries intrigues you the most? Tell me in the comments below and don't hold anything back. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe before you go. Until next time.